All right, so I am with Jordan here. We're gonna be measuring his dorsiflexion of his foot. He's already kind of ahead of me here, but go ahead and point that toe towards you. There you go, can you keep this leg a little flatter? Flatter, there you go, that looks good. Okay, so go ahead and relax it. So I'm gonna look for an end feel here, so I'm gonna just push your leg back. I'm feeling for any resistance. That looks good. I feel a hard end feel here. That's exactly what I should feel. So nothing getting in the way, no pain? No pain. Perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna measure that for you. So go ahead and push it back. I'm gonna line it up with the calcaneus here. Keeping that goniometer straight, point it up towards his knee. And we're gonna go ahead and press this top part in, making sure that's fairly low. Lining that up with the top of the toes here. All right, we've got about 91 degrees. All right, so now we're gonna find the subtalar inversion. So how to find that, we're gonna have you bend up your leg here. I'm going to have you completely dorsiflex your foot, point it down, there we go. Now, turn it inward a little bit. So, anything with that? No. All right, perfect. Now, go ahead and relax it. I'm going to do it for you now. I'm going to grab around the calcaneus here. Trying to stop that joint from moving, so I'm grabbing right on the, where that heel stops and where the instep starts. I'm going to pull you into full dorsiflexion here. We're going to go ahead and invert the foot a little bit and adduct it so how does that feel right about there because i just felt it stop that was a hard stop feels fine perfect no pain that's exactly what we're looking for so we're expecting about 20 degrees here so i will line it up with my goniometer pointing towards the the last metatarsal here Once again, and coming right off that center line, All right, that's about 21 degrees, perfect. All right, so we are now looking at Jordan's knee. We are looking at his left knee here. So patella on top. We're going down just a little bit. We're gonna feel for the top of the patella here, or for the top of the tibia here. Going out to this lateral condyle. We're going to go down just a little bit more. We're going to find the fibular head. So that's a bony protrudence right off the side of the leg here. So let's see if I can get him to show it. So I'm going to bend your knee just a little bit. And we should see a little bit of a bony prominence right about through here. All right, so now down here on the ankle, go ahead and point that toe towards you, or your toes towards you. Perfect. So that gets it to stick out a little bit more. We're looking for our medial malleolus, which is just the bottom of our tibia here so we got a little bit of rotation and again it ends right about over here again bony prominence pretty visible okay so now going down to the heel we found the achilles tendon go ahead and put your toes back towards you good so now we can really get a solid feel of the back of the calcaneus here which is that back heel bone and we're looking for the tuberosity which is this bony prominence right here. Okay, so back to the medial aspects of his foot here. We're finding our medial tuberosity, and we're gonna slide down about two finger lengths, and we found our navicular tuberosity right about here. All right, from our navicular tuberosity, which we palpated just recently, just below that, there's a set of three bones here. They're called the cuneiforms. So we've got our most medial, we've got our intermediate, we've got our most lateral. All right, so coming up a little bit higher on the foot now, we see some tendons, a couple of blood vessels running through here. We're looking a little bit more distally from our cuneiforms, but we've got our first metatarsal. So if you go to the outside of this big toe here, the great toe, you're actually going to feel it all along here, and I can feel the, the head of it. And it starts right about here and is about that long. So if we come to the outside, we're going to our fifth metatarsal. So again, we can come out to the outside of the foot where we feel this bony prominence. 
just below that, we're going to get the end of that fifth metatarsal here. And again, it's coming distally towards that toe. 